Oh, it rips. What's up, YouTube? I have my son's little uh, Chevy Silverado here, and I burnt the speed controller. So I wanted to convert this to a 20-volt uh, DeWalt anyway, so no better time than to do it now. So I actually bought a uh, speed controller that can handle 12 volts to 36 volts off of eBay. And I'm going to show you that right now and how I'm going to wire it up. So here's my general setup. And when you buy this kit, you will get a gas pedal and your speed controller. Uh, then you have your on off and your reversing. So I cut this wire off my uh, burn up speed controller and mounted it here. Then your two inners here are for your motors for the gas pedal. This has a sliding mechanism. It does have two springs, and for a child, this would be very stiff. For two springs, it's definitely meant for an adult. Luckily, you can take one of the springs out. As far as your on and off switch, this is the factory dash, okay? Well, it's just simply a toggle switch. So I am gonna convert this, uh, cut this off, maybe get this to work. This could also be fried because of the problem I had and uh, get rid of this little switch and use the actual on off that my son's used to using just to make it easier and it's just such a clean setup okay so I know this is like a mess but just try to stay with me here first things first take your factory harness from the Silverado and cut off this plug because you're not gonna need it this used to plug into the old speed controller it's a great harness Second, you're gonna unsolder your power switch that comes with your, speak, your new speed controller because you don't wanna use this switch when you have a perfectly good switch right here. Now, uh, for this part of the video, we're gonna leave our forward reverse switch on and I'm gonna break down the factory harness for you. So, this yellow wire right here is for your headlights, which is on a separate plug right here. So we're gonna put that aside for now. Then your orange wire out of your speed controller is your constant hot, okay? Which was going to this switch uh, right here, I believe. And then this is the blue wire here is gonna be your connection, your jumper, which then makes this hot, which turns on your speed controller. What I did is uh, first and foremost, take your black wire and ground it okay to your battery and what i did is my hot wire now which was orange runs to red red is your constant hot on the back of the switch and you know that because it has shrink wrap on it okay then as you can see when the switch is flipped your pink wire now gets power goes through your harness comes out through here and your pink wire here is going into the speed controller, power to speed controller. Now I have, just for the sake of making this quick and easy, I cross my wires right here. Um, your orange in the factory harness goes all the way back through here. Okay to your control board, which powers the little stereo and your voltage meter, okay? So we're gonna turn this on now and show you what it does. Get your fans on. We have a fully charged battery and we're good to go. So now we're gonna turn on the multimeter. Flip it again. Positive voltage, that'd be forward. Negative voltage, that'd be reverse. So like I said, this is the factory shifter out of the truck. And just for the time, uh, time's sake, I'm just trying to get this done quick. Uh, you'll obviously need to extend this harness depending where you put your speed controller. Um, let's go through these tabs. So with my test light, I found that if we use this tab right here, you can get your power output here. 
or here, depending on if your shifter is in reverse or forward. So now we're gonna do a quick test. Let's turn the truck on. Power and fan is on. Push down the gas pedal. We are positive 12.7 volts. And now we are going to flip it. And we are negative 0.127 volts. So it should be reverse. So that is your general uh, wiring to reuse your factory Chevy Silverado uh, shifter. It just makes it easier for the kids. And also to wire in your key switch. All right, moment of truth. We have power. Voltage meter is working. We're gonna be in forward. There we go. And look at this, hold on. Oh, it is voltage, it's, it's, oh, it modulates. Oh, I'm in love. Worth every penny. This is a excellent speed controller. Let's kick it in reverse. Heard the solenoid click. Oh, I love it. Forward, and I'm gonna just floor it and see if it soft starts. Oh yeah, so that might seem delayed for a race car driver, but for a child, um, especially when you're running 20, 24 volts to these little plastic wheels and drive motors, that soft start is gonna give you your top end speed while not laying on all of your power and tearing up the gears. So this is excellent. Remember, this is where we started at. Um, you know, I guess it works okay. But this is literally just an on-off. It has a slightly soft start on it. But I'm um, really, really happy with this. Just one more time. Turn the key off. Yep, we're good. All right, we have the panels in, top and bottom. The factory switches in, but it does nothing. And this is the new uh, gas pedal with one spring in. And uh, as you see, very easy. Honestly, it, it might require less because of the leverage than this switch. So really happy. It's a 516s hardware. And then I drilled a hole through the side of this. And on the inside of this, to run my wires through to have a nice clean look and that way you have everything hidden away. All right, as you can see, we have the speed controller mounted down in between the frame rails right here. Um, I did cut out the entire plastic box where your factory controller used to sit because this controller is teeny tiny and the new controller is huge and uh, you do want air to pass by it, especially if you're gonna run you know, 24 volts are up. What I did is I created this bracket and it actually mounts to these steel frame rails down here, just like this. Imagine it sitting on the frame. And then the bottom of the speed controller mounts to these two small holes right here. So I'm gonna get this mounted Show you how it looks. This is just a piece of a uh, five inch long aluminum angle iron from Home Depot. Very simple, I had some laying around and it was the perfect ticket for what needed to happen here. Speed controller is mounted. Now here's the factory cover for the shifter assembly. That's it, covers all the wires. Plug it on up, have room for your extra battery. Now, if you're just gonna run one battery, Sure, you can have the controller right over here, but you're limiting yourself if you do that for future modifications. Eventually, this is gonna be a dual lithium setup. Um, 220 volts is what I wanna go with. But for now, we're gonna run the 12 volts for um, the sake of speed and not going too fast for a, uh, not even a two and a half year old. So 
with a speed controller, I would mount it um, maybe a little bit higher or a little bit lower because you're gonna run into a clearance issue with your screwdriver. Um, luckily, if you have one of these stupid things that you'll never use for anything else in the world, it fits really good just to tighten everything. Um, I thought I was gonna have enough clearance right underneath here for a screwdriver. It's a hair too high, so kind of in the middle fitment. Let me get underneath, show you the bracket. It'll make a little more sense. And right there is your aluminum angle iron and the bottom of the speed controller. I just drilled these um, holes for these bolts. Uh, yes, they are rusty because I just had some random, random ones laying around. But now we have a fully functional uh, truck now. So tomorrow morning we'll get a minute and show you how it runs. Yep, that's the new one. <laughs> yeah, that's the old one that's broken. So that's the new one you use, okay? Okay, turn your key on. Turn your key on. Okay, now put in reverse. Oh, you already did, okay. Go ahead. Oh, it rips. Keep going. Whoa. What do you think, Jay? So that delay of the pedal actually is confusing him, but it's actually safe. So, just to be noted. And this is a single 12 volt battery setup, so completely stock voltage. Okay, as expected, <laughs> we are uh, we're out of battery. In around 10 and a half volts, the speed controller goes into a uh, fail safe mode where it will not move anymore. Uh, to con pretty much protect itself and we had to go get the pickup truck to get the pickup truck so you definitely do need a dual 12 volt battery setup with this controller it's just meant for so much more voltage it can handle it's, it's meant from 12 to 48 but that big circuit board all the capacitors it's eating up a lot of voltage um, because it is rated for so much more power so with 12 volts, um, the dual battery setup will get you more range, but with this speed controller, your range is definitely cut in half, if not more, over your little factory controller. So that's one downside. So just letting you know. So this is a, it's been a really good learning process. Um, plenty of mods will come. And if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.